Hello, this is Quick Skills, and today we're going to be testing out the Dolphin XR app on the MetaQuest 3. This is going to allow you to emulate GameCube and Wii games on your MetaQuest, and you're not going to be able to play them in VR, but you will be able to see them in VR and use your MetaQuest remotes to play the games. Now, to install Dolphin XR, you are going to have to take some time if you haven't already done this and install SideQuest. With SideQuest, you'll be able to test out some games that are basically in developer mode and they're untested and a lot of them are free. So this Dolphin XR is going to be free. We do have it up on the screen here. So we have the Dolphin emulator on the MetaQuest 3 opened up here, we can see that we have some GameCube games already installed. And if we hit this Wii button, it'll switch us over to some Wii games that we already have installed. Now, if you are needing GameCube and Wii games, I cannot share with you where you can download these off the internet. However, I have reviewed some products on this channel before. For instance, I used my 12 terabyte hard drive that I purchased off of AliExpress and just took the ROMs right off of there and drag and drop them onto my MetaQuest 3. So that is where I found all of these ROMs that I'm gonna be testing out today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into a GameCube game and we're gonna start off with Luigi's Mansion. So I never had the chance to play this when it was brand new, but um, this isn't so much a review because obviously all of this is free but I just want to test it out and see how well it emulates some of these games so we can already tell the colors are really bad on Luigi's Mansion. But let's see if it's playable. Now, I'm fairly certain this is not the colors that we're supposed to be seeing, but I kind of like it. The other thing I want to mention is that we can make our screen bright, uh, bigger by pushing in the right or uh, the left thumb stick down. So I'm making the screen bigger which is great because now I'm reclined in my chair, sitting back and we have this huge screen in front of me. And this is VR, so look, if I look off to the left or to the right, I'm just in this dark void of a room. And again, I've never played this, but just checking to see if the controls work. So to walk around, I'm using my right remote joystick. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, it seems to be working. There are some graphical errors like that red glove okay it looks like that door is locked Let's see what's through this door okay so luigi's gonna be yelling mario this whole time uh to pause what i'm doing is i am pushing in the right joystick and i feel like the game is working well enough the controls are a little wonky because i'm not using a gamecube controller i'm using oh here we go something. Can we use it here? Nope. That hurt me. I should have guessed that a glowing door would hurt me. But this one looks unlocked now. Use the key. I think the most frustrating thing with emulation is going to be figuring out the control mapping. Because like, I think I have to use the two different trigger buttons for A and B. We have a ghost. And I heard this is not a particularly long game to beat, but it's very good. Just never had the time to play it. And this screen, I think, can get a little bigger. Yeah, this is the biggest. And I don't like it this big because I got to turn my head to look at all the sides. But this is the, si the size that it starts off at. And I do like it this big. I think my peripherals can see pretty much everything pretty good any bigger and I feel like I'm having to turn my head in VR. And I believe if we come to a save point on the GameCube, it will save the progress for Luigi's Mansion. All right, so these are the controls, but the controls aren't gonna match the... They need, a, they need controls for the MetaQuest 3. Okay, so I found what that is. Oh, uh, this is tricky. Because I have to use two hands on one remote to, to move the C-stick and to press the vacuum button is pretty challenging. But it is working. 
feel like if you practiced enough, it is doable. All right, well, I exited out of Luigi's Mansion. It seemed to be working, but the control schemes are really difficult for that one. We're going to jump into Star Wars Rogue Leader now. All right, so I had to turn down the sound because this is definitely all licensed music. And it just plays that gorgeous Star Wars music that we're all accustomed to, but I had to mute it all. All right, so we have a little bit of discoloration on the X-Wing here as well. So that black is like a grayish black, and the Star Wars isn't really lit up in the right color scheme. All wings Red 10 standing by. All right, we're getting ready to play the first level of Rogue Squadron 2 for the GameCube. And we do have a lot of stuttering here, so as far as being a good emulator, it fails the test for Rogue Squadron for sure, but let's see if we can play a little bit. Okay, we're in the cockpit view. That looks gorgeous. Just wish it wouldn't stutter. All we need to do is destroy these towers. Anytime I shoot, it kind of thinks a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> if something explodes, it's gonna get a little stuttery too. So definitely having some issues there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I wouldn't call this game very playable, so we're going to move on to another game. Now. I've been wanting to show off this one. I had a lot of success running it. So what we're doing is we're playing an emulated version of The Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo 64, emulated on the GameCube, which is also now emulated on the Metal Quest 3. And... Because this is a Nintendo 64 game, it is not having any issue keeping up with this. And I actually feel like I would play through most of the Nintendo 64 catalog in this VR setting. Like, this is a lot of fun <laughs> running around and, again, making the screen huge if you really want it. Like, this is as big as the screen gets. The control schemes for the N64 were already kind of wonky, so I don't feel weird using the MetaQuest 3 remotes. The C-Stick is on the left side, which is a little odd, but there is a way you can map the controller. I just don't feel like I'm going to spend a lot of time in here playing through these games. Just want to show off that you can do it. And this is the size that it starts off with. So that is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the GameCube, emulated on the MetaQuest 3. All right, now we're going to try some Wii games. I did have a chance to play some of these, and I will tell you that the Wii Mote, it's not going to be as easy as pointing at the screen. The gyroscopes in the controller do simulate having the Wii Mote pointed at a TV, but it's not perfect. So right here, I'm waving my hand across the screen to use this uh, motion, but it is not perfect. Like, I feel like I'm having to move my hand a lot. So we're going to use the motion controls to try this game and while I am doing it I feel like I'm not it's not as precise as the Wii mode is this is working like in a pinch this is much better to emulate the Wii than I've ever seen out of any other device without having oh I shot myself in the face I do think it struggles if you move too fast. I wonder if there is a way to turn up the sensitivity. Because, like, I cannot move the remote. Like, I'm swinging my hand as fast as I can. You just have to pick and choose what you're going to go for because... Oop, got the duck. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, stage two is now open. Find two lookalikes. Oh, this is easy. What the? Where are the two lookalikes in this one? Are they supposed to be making the same face? Oh, this guy. That took a lot longer than it should have. I didn't think they would be wearing different shirts. Find the me you're using. Um, um, 
Uh oh. I picked wrong. Uh. This one. And nope. This one. Nope. This is tough. I think I might have met my match. Leave a comment if you see them, because I don't see the match. Where are they? Oh no. Okay, Kamikaze. No. All right, we made 10, le 10 levels. Well, we, we play is working, so we'll go ahead and exit out of this one and try another game. Just a reminder, if you're looking for ROMs, go to my videos. I've reviewed several 12 terabyte hard drives, and there are plenty of Wii and GameCube games in these. All I did was drag and drop the ROMs right into the folder. As you can see, some of them are working, some of them aren't. All right, well, we're going to just play regular old Pac-Man because we can. Oh, okay. That's frustrating. I have to hold my remote horizontal. So I'm using my right-handed remote, and I'm using it with my left hand, and the controller is sideways. But it is working. Once I figured that out... Waka, 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 waka. And I'm so used to Mrs. Pac-Man, I am not used to regular Pac-Man. Let's make this bigger. Oh, yeah. So this is probably the only game that I feel like having it this big is awesome. I think that's the biggest. Yeah, that's the biggest size. There we go. Well, I think it's kind of cool to be able to play some of these older games emulated through the game GameCube or the Wii. Like we saw the GameCube emulating N64, and we saw the Wii emulating an old arcade port of Pac-Man. Alrighty, let's move on. I want I want to try. Oh yeah, we gotta watch this cutscene. This was like the first cutscene ever. Big Pac-Man. Okay, we got the cutscene. So this one brings me back so many memories. Let's see, we gotta do 150 CC. So I already can hear some distortion on the sound. Yep. So this is not gonna be a good port of Mario Kart for the Wii. I can already tell. But it might just be during the cutscenes. Like right here, we have a ton of stuttering. Oh no. Okay, I learned how to hop. Oh yeah, this brings back some memories. So, I mean, I think this is playable, but there is definitely some frame rate drops. Trying to press all the buttons to see if there's anything I'm missing. Draft! Draft! Yeah! Okay, we're gonna try to get these boosts here. Come on, we gotta get first. Ha! First place! Alright, still got it. Alright, well this is Quick Skills. That was pretty much all I have for y'all today. Just wanted to show you that it can be done. You can play some GameCube games, some Wii games on your MetaQuest 3. It takes a little bit of installation, but once you get it going, I'm sure you'll find some games that are playable uh, more so than others. I think this one's playable. There's a few frame rate issues, but um, the Wii Play was actually really fun. I might have to come back and try that one again later. Well, this is Quick Skills. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You have a good day.